Hi, thank you for joining me today. We're going to be doing a short yoga sequence for low back pain relief. You don't need any equipment for this, so let's go ahead and get started. If you don't have time to watch this video right now, go ahead and save for later and just do it whenever you get a chance. I am actually six months pregnant, so this is safe for anybody that is in, um, you know, up to their third trimester of pregnancy. So let's go ahead and get started. So let's start on our back and always with low back pain, I really like to focus on a wider stance really with anything that I can. So even in this bridge that we're gonna do, go ahead and wind your stance wider than hip distance, just a little bit, and make sure that your toes are lined up. All right, so let's go ahead and just lean back. And let's go ahead and just take a few breaths here. So without any effort, I want you to just breathe in and out through your nose. And start to feel more rooted through your feet. So root down through the tripods of your feet below the big toe, below the little toe, and center of the heel. And especially any sort of back bend, um, your weight's gonna wanna shift to the outer edges of your feet sometimes. So really root down through those tripods. And feeling rooted, starting to connect a little bit more to our body in this moment. And this is a great place to um, just kind of get on top of any bad behavior. So any overarching in the low spine really shows up here. And we're gonna do a few pelvic tilts. So without any effort, you should be able to put a little bit of, um, there should be just enough space for you to fit your fingers underneath your low back. So when we're doing these pelvic tilts, I want you to just press the flat of your back onto the floor and we're really rotating our pelvis slightly. So staying rooted through our feet, go ahead and tilt your pelvis and press. Hold for about three seconds. And you're gonna to start to feel your glutes engage a little bit more. Go ahead and relax. And again, press, holding for three seconds. And you should start to feel immediate relief in your low back. And press, and pressing through the tripods of your feet, especially through your heel. Proper glute engagement, really in anything that you're doing, can help tremendously with low back issues, as well as proper posture. Do this about two more times at your own pace and just bringing your full attention to this movement. Just tilting the pelvis and pressing. And release. And on this next tilt, go ahead and tilt. Hold it. And I want you to just press your palms, go ahead and lift your hips, keeping that pelvic tilt as you introduce movement. And hold, feeling those thighs start to engage and go ahead and release nice and slow. And one more time, go ahead and tilt your pelvis, hold that position and press through your feet. Forming a straight line from your knees all the way to your shoulders, go ahead and bring your arms overhead reaching through your fingertips, tuck your chin in. So low back is fully supported in this position. Legs are engaged, glutes are engaged. And release, keeping the arms overhead. And one more time, tilt that pelvis, go ahead and lift your hips and reach through your fingertips, not turning your head in this position, it's bad for the neck. Tucking the chin in rooting down through the feet and go ahead and release. And we're gonna start to move into some hip opening poses that um, are really good for the low back. Go ahead and bring that right ankle on top of the left knee and you can just draw your leg in towards the torso. You can interlace your fingers over your hamstring or over your knee, or you can just hold your leg if you're feeling more stiff. And we're gonna hold this for about 20 seconds, just breathing into that right hip and right glute 
and notice if that right hip is starting to travel toward upwards and really keep your hips even. So pressing that right hip down if you need to as you draw the leg in. So often low back pain and stiffness is um, referral pain from hip tightness. So including this is really good. Any sort of low back sequence and go ahead and release. And opposite side, go ahead and bring that left ankle on top of the right knee and just drawing that leg in. And just start to kind of look for any um, differences between the right and left side. Just being mindful of anything that feels tighter or more painful. And again, you want to hold this for 20 to 30 seconds to really feel any sort of movement. Just relax your shoulders, relax your face. About three more breaths at your own pace. I'm just drawing that leg in a little bit more with each breath. Not forcing it, just allowing it to open. And release. And coming into happy baby pose, go ahead and bring your the soles of your feet towards the sky. And you want to just grab hold of the outer edges of your feet and go ahead and just press your knees towards the floor, allowing your hips to open. This is fantastic for the low back as well. Um, just stretching the low back in a really healthy way. And we're gonna hold this for a good 20 seconds. You're gonna get a deeper release if your feet are parallel with the ceiling. So really bring in like your toes down drawing the chin in. You can rock a little bit if that feels nice. Feels really nice. And another few breaths here. And release. And go ahead and roll to your side and you can come to a seated position. And we are gonna come into downward facing dog. So go ahead and um, tabletop is a great starting position. So we're actually gonna bring um, our hands and feet to a wider position just to help with more space in the spine. Pressing right up into downward facing dog. Go ahead and press those thighs back and let the heels just fall towards the floor. Tucking the chin in, letting the spine be nice and long. Just breathing into that low spine. And go ahead and walk it out a little bit, just dropping the right heel, bending the left knee and the opposite side. If you feel a little top heavy, go ahead and engage those quads a little bit more. You want to feel balanced from your arms through your legs and supporting the back equally. And go ahead and drop those knees and big toes close together, knees wider than hip distance apart. Go ahead and come into child's pose, just letting that head rest on the floor and allowing the hips to fall towards the heels. And just ending our short but powerful practice here in child's pose. If my low back is hurting me, this is the one pose that I'll do if I don't have a whole lot of time. I feel like it just helps so much. And go ahead and just walk those hands forward. One final stretch for the spine, pressing the palms down. Staying connected to our breath. And you can just soften those arms. And that is it for our practice today.
Thank you for watching today. I enjoyed spending this time with you and I look forward to seeing you next time. If you enjoyed today's video, you should check out our app Yoga Plus where you'll find some exclusive content. I look forward to seeing you there. Welcome to Yoga Plus. Courses available from pupil to yogi. Sort by yoga, fitness, and instructors. Create your own routines. Access the Pose Library. Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth, available on Google Play and the App Store. Join us for 14 and 30 day programs, hour long classes, and much more on our yoga app, Yoga Plus by Psyche Truth. It's free to download and features a variety of wellness content, including yoga, fitness, Pilates, guided meditations, and interviews with dozens of wellness experts.